I'm your host, Logan 193. You're joining me for Calendar Girl Chapter 16. Back in the Harrison Lawn, the first magazine you pick up has Alec on the cover. Of course, as if leaving Seattle wasn't hard enough, I enjoyed being his muse. Tearing myself away from West seemed tougher. It is because he was my first client? It's your turn to sit in the hairdresser's chair. My whole life I dated dirtbags, and now I opted to give up two capers in a row. Is it because they're clients and I'm not supposed to have feelings for them? Or because I'm too proud to accept their help paying off Dad's debt? It's time to select your new look. Thank God. Maybe it'll take my mind off my weird situation. In before. Oh my God. Did you see how, you know, chapters took choices, hairstyles? What's that? No? Okay. Let's go with red. I like the red hair. Alright, sweet home Chicago. Here I come. New month, new man. I can do this. When you get to Mr. March's, the view from the windows. Take your breath away. The elevator to this penthouse took so long, it could have been an amusement park ride. But won't you enjoy the way down? <laughs> oh my god, am I hungry? You look around the bedroom, on top of the world, and poke your nose into the closet. I see plenty of lovely clothes, but no Tony. The door across the closet must be the bathroom. I could use a potty break before I meet him. As soon as you crack the door, you hear the sound of running water. Oh no, he's taking a shower. Should I check him out, or is it just too inappropriate? Why don't I... act like a professional? Step back, the door opens, letting out a rush of steam. An enormous man walks through the steam into the room, wearing nothing but droplets of water and a very small towel. Your mouth goes dry and your heart may have skipped a beat. If I die right now, it won't be so bad, because I have finally seen perfection. Anthony, Tony, was gorgeous in pictures, but live and in person? Holy moly. Every massive muscled inch was sculpted by the gods. Papa me is here. Wait, who's he calling Poppy? Another nearly naked man comes out of the bathroom. This one is also as toned and chiseled, but more androgynous. He seems small, but he's actually between Wes and Alec in size. Next to Tony, the man, Mountain, he looks small. He slips his arm around Tony. Oh, okay. Now I know you why you need me. <laughs> it looks like Hector, and it kind of looks like the guy from Seventy Show. <laughs> God damn it, focus. Focus. <clears throat> Smart girl you picked out, and beautiful too. Did you pick out the prettiest ones? Should I be worried? Maybe. Man slaps Tony on the ass. Come on, you know I had to pick the best girl. My family would never believe anything else. You and them are very beautiful, Mia. He doesn't look too happy about this. I could just take him at face value. Maybe I should reassure him. Then again, he's not my client. Tony is. I'm going to... Let's say I'm here to work. Thanks. I'm happy to come back later if this isn't a good time. My job requires flexibility. And not just the physical kind. You know the situation better than I do, so I hope you can help me. Tony smiles and nods. There's nothing Hector doesn't know. Uh, business, bedroom, you name it. Hector still looks tense, but at least he's smiling. Let's start here again. Hi, you must be Mia. Yes, I definitely must. I'm Tony Fasano. And I'm Hector Chavez, Tony's partner. We get it, boy, boy toy. Calm down, okay? I'm not taking your man. Not this month. That is not even funny. I, for one, am not looking forward to this month. 
and I think it's going to be backfiring. He marches out, Tony bites his lip. Ah, my poor Hector. Tony shakes his head. Sorry to meet you like this. I, I didn't know you were here. I'll stay out of this room for the rest of the month. This is my chance to be professional. I don't want to be in your way. <laughs> oh, not at all. This room is your turf for the next month. I'm going to get dressed and meet back in the living room. This guy is 100% gay. There's no point in hoping. Uh, sounds good. How do you know? Just because he was in the shower with a guy doesn't mean he isn't bi. Or curious. Zip to the living room and text your best friend. You're never going to believe this. Naked pictures to get out. <laughs> you send a photo of Alec looking dreamy. Oh my god, I hate you. Pay attention. I'm going to have to put the phone away soon. Type a few letters and pause. I usually tell her everything. Is it right to gossip about a client's private life, though? I'm going to tell Jen about a harmless fact. So, what am I not going to believe? The sheer size of this guy. You're... they're going to name a mountain range after him. You know what they say. Big mountains have big peaks. I can barely walk after the last one. LOL. Walking is overrated. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, never mind. Hector and Tony walk in. You shake hands with Tony, who is now dressed in an expensive casual wear. Anthony Fazano, my fiancé, I presume? <laughs> it's good to meet my future bride. Call me Tony. Pretend bride. If anyone's walking down the aisle with you re for real, big guy, it's me. Only someone whose ass was as narrow as yours would fit in the aisle next to Tony. Hector bursts out laughing, and the three of you settle onto a luxurious furniture. Keep your eyes up, Nessie. All that hunky hotness is mine, and mine's alone. You need to... God damn, man! Is this how is this how they operate, too? Like, no offense, I don't really have many, you know, gay friends that compete with me for their love interests. Because... <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. <laughs> like, I don't even see guys that act like this. Women, kinda. Guys, no. Like... Really, it's just, it's just what happens when you cross over. You take on that female... I'm serious. I'm just curious. Like, calm down, dude. We don't want your dude. We're just here for a job. Oh, This is going to be an interesting with you here. I can already tell. Hmm, what's fun in life if everything's a predictable... Tony sighs, and Hector giggles again. So, what's my first assignment? Uh, tonight, the three of us get to know each other. Should I be patient, or ask what happens next? I'd love to... Eh, hang on, chat. Tomorrow's Friday uh, night dinner. We always eat with uh, Ma and the family. The family? It, yeah, hey, I'm gonna get a drink. Anyone want anything? You and Hector shake your heads. Tony disappears into the kitchen. He returns with a glass of milk and finishes every drop in one go. Impressive. I know. You and Hector dissolve into giggles. Okay, okay. A focus. The family, you said? Ah, just the immediate family. Oh, I have a thousand siblings and children and cousins and no big deal. You want me to fool the entire family into believing I'm his fiance? Yep, that's the idea. But that part after you meet Ma, if you survive. Guys, it's impossible. There's no way I could pull this off. Nah, you've already got this. I can already tell. And what makes you say that? You're gorgeous. Down to earth and you got a bit of an edge. My family will love it. You're exactly the kind of person he would have picked. If he were wired for my kind of electricity. <laughs> right, just be yourself. Just like that. I'm still not sure this is a good idea. I'm not either, but I want what he wants. And I took the job. It's Duck Shop. I needed to pick your brains to get into character. We're gonna need a truckload of wine for this. Two hours later, all three of you are tipsy and laughing your asses off. 
Oh my god, you did not do that. Oh, we did. Stark ass naked. Ran the entire length of the football field, all wearing helmets. And nothing else. Each of the guys had a different letter on his chest. We held still long enough for the visiting team's beachers to see it. Losers suck it. Shortly afterwards, Anthony and I became an item. Well, privately. So, who knows you're a couple? Uh, not many. Poppy, please. Hector sighs and leans his head on your shoulder. I feel like a protective older sister. <laughs> it's a big traditional conservative family. Yeah, about that. Some of them are going to smell a rat, no matter how much I seem to know about you. Are you sure they don't know about you already? They don't know. I've given them no reason to overthink, to think otherwise. You are so obviously a couple. Hector has been a friend. Not just to me, but the whole family for so long. They see him as a brother. And a business partner. I'm kind of a genius. You're entirely a genius. Oh, could you two stop it, please? Me, and part of the problem is I only have sisters. And I'm sure the sisters know you're probably swinging from the tree. So? I have a sister, too. Yeah, it's more complicated. I am the only son of the founder. Oh. I thought we were leaning in the my sisters don't expect a thing. Da, da, da. If I don't have kids, the name dies with me. That's it? That's the big problem? Do they know what year it is? I want them to be happy, and the solution is so simple and obvious. I feel so comfortable with these guys, but should I say what I'm thinking? Or wait until I've known them for more than a day? I'm going to be subtle. In a... In a what? Witterproof? War effect? I'm confused. Oh, that's because she's drunk. Okay. In a perfect world, I mean, a perfect world, what would you do? Time to cut you off, lightweight. Uh, we're all featherweights compared to you. You haven't met my sister. I haven't met anyone. Point is, what do you guys want? Him. I want him. Whatever form that takes. Oh, Hector. I love you so much. So sorry about all this. My work here is done. They don't even notice you. You grin and stagger to your room. This is going to be great. Just as soon as I meet the family. That's it? That's... I mean... Oh, God damn it. Like I said, I just... One, they made him so overprotective. It was kind of overbearing. Two, um... I'm serious about that. Are they, are they competitive? <laughs> just like females? Females are like, Leave my man alone. Don't even look at him. <laughs> oh, man. And most guys are just like, you know, they, they give the eye, you know? I mean, yeah, there's different types of guys. But most people that I've known don't get all... Except for women. Um, I can be over... I don't want to say overproductive. I can be protective. But in a sense of, I'm going to trust her. Regardless. Um... You know, and I, I I, don't want to be that controlling, where were you? You said you'd be home at 9, and it's 9.02. That's two minutes too goddamn late. Like, <laughs> there's some guys out there that I'm sure do actually do that, I'm sure. Because there's, you know, plenty of melding pot of peoples. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, That just, it seemed a little overbearing to me. Um, Especially because they've been together for so long. And they've been friends in the whole nine yards. Something also tells me this is going to be very short-lived. Because the sisters, sisters typically, like women innately, have a, a, a bigger sense of, you know, those things. Versus, oh my god, Tony was really gay this whole time? No! Like, like it matters. And yeah, it's 2018, it doesn't matter really. I mean, it still does, if you're like, conservative as all shit. And, but I, I, I've, I've... I don't know, I hardly hear of it anymore where it's like, oh my god, my son is gay, oh my god, how dare you be. I don't hear of that much anymore, you know? It's kind of been just accepted now. I don't know, it's kind of cool that way. Um, with that being said, I hope you all did enjoy the video. 
Remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, hit that bell. And head down description below. Links to social media or Discord and a few links to support me and my content. Also, do check out the uh, new book that's up on the channel. Um, I enjoyed it. It's it's something that we don't get to see much of, but the Rake and Recluse is actually pretty well done. And then uh, we got uh, five chapters of Quarter of Nightfall. So stay tuned for that. Without further ado, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.